Kim Kardashian unexpectedly encountered Eric and Lyle Menendez, who are well known for their well-publicized murder trial from the 1990s, at the Richard J. Donovan Correctional Facility, which is located close to San Diego. Eric publicly lambasted Ryan Murphy, a partner of Kardashian's, and his Netflix series Monsters. The Lyle and Eric Menendez story, which dramatizes their lives just before their meeting on Saturday. Kim talked about her continued dedication to criminal justice reform with a group of about 40 prisoners while accompanied by her mother Kris Jenner and sister Khloe Kardashian, the source said. Notably, actor Cooper Koch, who plays Eric in the series, joined them. According to the source, a major subject of conversation was green space, Lyle's effort that aims to improve prison yards in order to promote rehabilitation. Eric and Lyle, two brothers presently serving life sentences in jail, were found guilty of the savage 1989 murder of their parents at their Beverly Hills home. The meeting's details emerged after it was disclosed that Eric posted his opinions about the miniseries on Lyle's Facebook page, criticizing Murphy for what he considered to be the show's horrible and blatant lies. We've created a caricature of Lyle that is based on the terrible and obvious lies that are pervasive throughout the show, but I thought we'd gone past the lies and disastrous character representations of Lyle. My belief is that they did it intentionally, Eric said at the start of his lengthy piece. I say this with a heavy heart because I don't think Ryan Murphy could be this ignorant of the truth about our lives and still do this without malicious intent. While Nicholas Alexander Chavez plays Lyle in the series, Coke plays Eric. Chloe Sevigny plays their mother Kitty, while Javier Bardem plays their father Jose Menendez. He went on, saying, It saddens me to know that Netflix's dishonest portrayal of the tragedies surrounding our crime have taken the painful truth several steps backward back to an era when the prosecution built a narrative on a belief system that males experienced trauma from rape differently than females and that men were not sexually abused. In Monsters, which debuted on Netflix on September 19th, the brothers are portrayed as conceited brats who went on a shopping binge after killing their parents. The brothers' sexual abuse by both of their parents is revealed later in the series, hinting at Lyle and Eric's true intentions behind the murders. Eric noted, over the last 20 years, countless courageous victims have bravely spoken out, breaking through their personal shame, disrupting and exposing those awful lies. Thus, he stated, Murphy now crafts his terrible story with disgusting and heinous character depictions of Lyle and of me as well as depressing slander. After Murphy and Kim first collaborated on American Horror Story, Delicate, which debuted on September 20th, 2023, the criticism has been directed at them. Kardashian landed her first significant scripted role in this groundbreaking series as Siobhan Walsh, a character dealing with the bizarre and unsettling difficulties of pregnancy. Kim signed on for Murphy's upcoming project, All's Fair, which is billed as a high-end, glamorous, and sensual adult procedural. After her performance in AHS, the reality personality will play the head of an all-female law office and the best divorce attorney in Los Angeles. Given that Kardashian is actively pursuing a legal career in real life and recently passed the baby bar exam, she is well-suited to assume the job of lawyer. She is currently studying for the full bar exam. Kim started actively supporting Alice Johnson's case in 2017, a woman serving a life sentence for a nonviolent drug trafficking conviction, which marked the beginning of her campaign for criminal justice reform. Kardashian first contacted Ivanka Trump in an attempt to draw attention to Johnson's situation. She met with former President Donald Trump as a result of her activism, and she fervently argued for Johnson's pardon. When Trump pardoned Johnson in June 2018, resulting in her release from jail after more than 20 years, Kardashian's efforts paid off. Motivated by her achievement, Kardashian has subsequently broadened her campaign to encompass other victims of comparable injustices including Julius Jones, a man falsely convicted of murder, and Kevin Cooper, a man on death row for more than 30 years. Through her persistent work, Kardashian has become a well-known voice in the criminal justice reform movement, utilizing her position to advocate for individuals caught in a broken system and bring about change. During the first season of her family's Hulu series The Kardashians in May 2022, Kim documented the moment she found out she had passed the baby bar legal exam. With publicist Tracy Romulus as a companion, 
Kardashian checked the results of her third attempt at the difficult test online while seated in her car. Her path to becoming a lawyer was significantly advanced by the poignant revelation, which demonstrated her resolve and dedication to her legal studies. She later remarked in a confessional interview, Everyone told me this was the impossible way, and there was no way I would ever pass this test, and I did.